Monarch's reputation for excellence is clearly reflected in the Monarch 10 E tool room lathe. This is the machine that all others are compared to, whether you like it or not. Every single control on this machine, it's like a micrometer. Precision, smooth, positive, no stickiness, no crunchy crap, smooth, handcrafted, built one at a time, each one special order. They don't pull these off crates in harbors. They build them in Sydney, Ohio. Hand built, each one makes each one an individual in a way. Beautiful machine, beautiful round lines on that. Not that ugly square boxy crap you see on modern machines. This thing is just smooth looking and smooth operating. Unbelievable. Let's look at that. Yeah. Every single control is within reach. After a very short period of time, you don't have to look for where to reach for these controls. Every control on this machine is where it should be. Right within reach. Look at that. The craftsmanship that went into this is unbelievable. It totally outdoes any vehicle ever built. The funny thing about it you can buy a fancy car. I love cars. But those cost you money. And if you're pretty smart, pretty clever, this will make you money, not cost. This is the machine for the artist. For the person who wants to improve their product. That's what I used it for. When I was in business, this machine improved my overall product, which was my service, basically. Never a problem. The machine has been taken care of, not overloaded, not goofed with, not termited or short pantsed. This is the real thing here. The real deal. You don't need American rotary for this one. Unbelievably, this will plug into your uh, electric clothes dryer outlet and fully run. No three-phase, it's single-phase. 
except for the coolant pump. I did something different there. I never used the coolant pump in this. I, uh, I have a separate bath for coolant that um, has a refrigerator in it and it keeps the coolant uh, at whatever temperature you want. That doesn't go with the machine. I use it on the grinder now. But it's got coolant. Inch metric. Look at this. All the dials. The uh, dials have internal gears. You see I'm rotating this outer one. And the, met, the metric wants the inner one, and it's geared. Look at that. See that? Top slide, too. Tail stock. Inch metric. You see how that works? You can set it with the friction here. You can move it. Set it to zero. Reads metric up front, inch here. It's geared. I like how it rotates opposite of uh, the hand wheel. Smooth as absolute silk. The, the tailstock has hardly been used. You have to use fine spindle oil in here or it'll be too hard to move. I just didn't use it for drilling. Only support. I rough parts out on an older Monarch 10 E I had. Then I put the part in the chuck in this one for finishing. And I could exchange chucks between the machine uh, and not even get a tenth of a thousandth difference in the uh, run out. This machine's for sale. The old one is not. It's not going anywhere. Now the reason I'm selling this one is I don't use it enough. It means to be used. Isn't that something? I was doing some tests uh, over here on this old Axelson and uh, found, got a bit of a wow in here. And you know, old lathes are great. You learn to get around those kind of things. But over here, you don't have to get around those kind of things. It doesn't have any bad spots. It's all good spots. Super accuracy. Unmatched finishes. Unbelievable machine. that a company took it upon themselves to build the finest toolmaker's lathe in the world and held that position since 1939. This has kicked the butt of all competition. Absolutely. And it's... <laughs> can clearly be seen by where these machines end up and what they do. This one here is out of a Western Electric Missile Guidance System factory. Amazing, isn't it? It was delivered to Western Electric in 1983 but it was owned by the government. Totally amazing.
Isn't that something? I am totally taken back every time I look at this thing. Just look at it. So easy to use. Oh, metric threads, no change gears. You just flip this knob, this, and two of these. And you go on a metric wrench. Do you want to go back to English wrench? You just reverse three levers. That fast. If you have change gears for an English version of this, you're not, it'll take an hour to do that switch. Here we're talking 20 seconds to go from English to metric and back. 20 seconds versus an hour. That was real important for me to be able to do that in my business. And this uh, machine in that um, regard brought in a lot of other business because of that fast metric English capability. That makes these uh, ones with the uh, capability of uh, the threads rare and hard to find. This one here being ideal if you wanted to have it at your home because it only requires single phase electricity. There's an awful lot of misconception about the vacuum tube drive. This is the last version of that. It is reliable if it's treated correctly. And this one has always been treated correctly. Okay, I'm going to be back on this subject.